Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and very good movie that I just got back from a screening of, which I very much enjoyed. Uh, the horror comedy that is about to grace the big screens, Renfield. That's right, the Dracula uh, servant, uh, Dracula's servant's movie is finally with us. Or at least it soon will be. This was an advanced screening I went to. And the movie officially comes out starting tomorrow night. But uh, this was fun all the same. Now before I get into all of that. Please be warned. This is a spoiler filled review. So if you haven't seen Renfield yet. And um, you plan to this opening weekend. You don't want to keep watching or listening to this review. As I will be discussing spoilers. Plot details. Character deaths. All that jazz. And oh my god. Is there a lot of death and violence in this movie. <laughs> So you have been warned. That being said, let's jump right back into it. First and foremost, I loved how this movie lived up to its initial premise as once described by Robert Kirkman, who helped write the story, an extremely violent horror comedy. That is exactly how I would describe this movie, too. I mean, some of the action sequences were impressive and very much in the style, if not the vein, of the John Wick movies. It was just add a, t a lot more blood and carnage if it was a John Wick action sequence. Just add a ton more blood splatter effects and that's what you get with Renfield. Uh, it was a fun movie. You know, this movie delivered exactly what it was uh, marketed as. You know, Renfield trying to get out of his toxic relationship he has with Dracula, trying to be his own man once again, making a new friend along the way, going to a support group, and then Dracula finding out and all hell breaking loose. I wasn't expecting the crime, the crime family aspect of it, although it did explain and clear a few things up from the trailers that we saw for this movie, which showed Renfield dispatching and killing a bunch of bad guys with guns, and they turned out to be gangsters, you know, for this crime family, or soldiers for this crime family, and uh, a bunch of corrupt cops as well, too, as it was revealed. Aquafina's character was, like, the only cop who wasn't on the payroll of this crime family. And so we got a bunch of dirty SWAT and SWAT team members and cops, and they ended up on the killing list as well, too, because Aquafina and Renfield just went ape shit on them during that apartment sequence, which was amazing. That was a lot of fun to watch. That was a great, super fun, super funny, blood filled scene. You know, I saw this movie with a packed theater. I went with my buddy, and the two of us were there with, you know, a very packed theater, and the crowd was very reactive, very receptive to what we were seeing. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun. You could feel the enthusiasm and you know even though this was a horror comedy and it was obviously you know played as it was meant to be more of a silly than a serious dramatic movie I really bought Rick Nicholas Cage as Dracula he did an incredible job you know with the voice he looked creepy with the teeth I loved those super razor sharp teeth that he had in his mouth his outfits were super vampire-esque his skin his claws or fingernails, whatever you want to call them. Had you put Nicolas Cage in a serious Dracula movie where he played Dracula, I would now go watch it because he did a great, that's how good a job he did as Dracula. And everybody did a great job with their respective roles, but I was really impressed with how great Nicolas Cage was. I was hoping he'd be fun to watch, and he was. As was Nicholas Holt as Renfield and Aquafina as the incorruptible cop. That was, a, she was great too. But uh, yeah, Nicolas Cage as Dracula. I totally see it now. I, I, I very much buy it, or I bought it, I should say. And I would very much love to see him play the character again in a far more serious context. But who knows if we'll get that or not. As uh, we all saw, he is now uh, dead dead for real. Well, so we think. I mean, Renfield and uh, Quincy chopped him up into a ton of pieces and scattered his body parts all over the place and poured holy, holy water all over him and beat the living hell out of him and whatnot. So will he, is he truly dead for real this time? We don't know. But um, this movie actually did not leave uh, uh, oh, did not leave the ending on a 
open note, you know, with there was no post credit scene or nothing teasing or showing that Dracula was still alive or nothing like that. But um, it, it, it did uh, it, it did have a pretty good sense of closure to the film. You know, it's like this was a, meant to be a, a one and done type of movie. You know, Renfield finally is free of Dracula. I love that he used the fact to bring back all the people who were murdered in the support group back with Dracula's blood. That was a great touch. The other really funny touch that I liked is how Dracula was able to allow himself into Renfield's apartment because of the welcome mat that said, welcome, come on in. And therefore he could be officially invited. I love that little loophole. That was pretty funny. And um, yeah, overall, it's just a fun uh exciting violent as hell but comic humorous violence not like hardcore in your face violence you know stuff that like turns your stomach this was a bit more bearable violence in my opinion because of the silly nature of the story and of the movie itself and i think that's what made it easier to digest because there are a lot of great wtf what the hell gory moments throughout this movie and it truly fits into that horror comedy uh, subgenre, I feel like. Because it definitely did not feel as scary as I thought it would be. Like, I didn't expect it to be that scary, and it wasn't. But it was definitely in the vein of a comedy. You know, you could almost call it an action comedy if you don't want to call it a horror comedy. So overall, I really, really liked it. I would love to see more of Nicolas Cage's Dracula. How and where, I don't know. But uh, this was a fun fresh take on a classic universal monster character that is both Dracula and Renfield. So I uh, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too if you're watching this as well. So what did you guys think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you expecting more, expecting less? Did the gory scenes get a big reaction in your viewing as well? Let me know down below in the comments section. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Renfield is now playing in theaters. It's a fun movie. I hope you enjoy it. Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.